back right now we'll be showing you how to roof a building and putting that building a roof touch so we're going to use roof this building with a hip roof hip roof then we'll put a gable roof touch on the roof so right now go to roof once you click on roof and click over to roof settings to see if we can do one of those settings right there so i can change my roof pitch to maybe it has a five okay then multiplying geometry the offset will be zero since i have a prop or a concrete facial so check the model i can leave it as a roof material i can change this to paint white just my choice these stuff are actually inside the roofing then I will click OK. When I click OK, I will just come over to the roof and start roofing. I'll make sure that the geometric method you use is a multiplane. So I will start moving. Okay, I'll make sure that the construction method you use rather is a complex roof. So since my roof building is not, since the building is not a rectangle shape building. So after roofing the building so you can see we will now confirm if it's well placed on the building by opening an elevation so i'm going to open an elevation to see if okay, it's not well placed so you can bring it down with ctrl d you can actually place this accurately by inserting the right dimensions to use so once it's open you can see it in 3d that was, that was successfully roofed the house so the purpose of this video is to place a roof touch on this roofing to place a roof touch on this roofing but first of all let's also increase the angle because you now I, I i reduce it to 35 let me increase it back to 45. so right now i want to place a roof touch on this roof so i'll go back to my roof plan which is my first story I will highlight the roof once i highlight the roof i will right click and click on split into single plane roof then click on split anyway so i've split this roof into single plane roof but it's still grouped so i'll click on ctrl shift g so i've ungrouped it so this roof are now single single planes as you can see so, so after ungrouping the roof so i'll click on i'll highlight this one down because I want to place the roof touch, I want to place this gable touch at this front area of the roof. So I highlight this roof and offset it to the height I want it to be. So I want it to be around 1200. I'll click OK and I'll bring an edge of this to this part. I must ensure that it's straight with the other line so you can zoom closely to confirm that. So once I've achieved that, I'll click it and I'll come over here too and do the same thing. Ensure it is straight. Once I've achieved that, I will click out or so click on escape. So I'll bring this one over here to place it at the center. That black bullet. Then bring this one back over here. I'll highlight this also. Do the same thing. Bring it to this black bullet and place this other side back so successfully i've created that roof touch as you can see right now so the roof touch has been successfully created as you can see so what i can just do to cover up you know the roof touch used normally used to have something like a a line so i can make use of wall i'll come back to first story again click on wall wall is under the design tool so it's there so i will just click on wall or a height of around 1500 then i will come to model i'll make the i'll create a log detail for the wall so the, the log detail like this 
of 200 is okay I'll click OK then I can then I can also change the color of the wall to maybe paint 14 and apply it on all of them then click OK then that wall I'll just lap it over here but I will move it a little bit down the settings or I can actually do that in my 3D so let's see what, where the wall is placed so I've opened 3D and I can't find the wall so I will just go back to my I'll go back to my first story again I will highlight the wall and maybe let me make it a little bit longer maybe that same 3 meters then I will now reduce it from there but let's see again so the wall now is now visible so I have to push it back So I will have to push it back by going back to my first story. Control D. You can see where the dot started from. So I'll push it behind the dot. So let me see if I can also increase this by 100. So let's see. So the dot has been created. The wall has been created. But as you can see, the wall is also coming out of the building and the, the wall also is not reaching the topmost part of the roof so which means i have to increase it also again by 100 then i'm clicking on the wall currently so i'll increase it maybe by 200 okay i can also move it a little bit back also so as you can see the the wall is perfectly placed but it can also go a little bit back by coming over to first story and moving it a little bit back all right so once this is done i will then come over to my roof plan i will highlight the wall and the roof I like the roof and the wall. I'll right click. I'll click on connect. Then trim elements to roof sheet. Then I'll click on trim. Let's see what will happen. Wow. So you can see the walls that are coming out of the roof have been removed and it has successfully placed. So you can see how to place your roof how to create a roof touch if that your wall is back you can steal from here and bring it forward a bit this is your choice so you can see how to create a roof touch in your roof like share and subscribe to the youtube channel if this video have helped you in one way or the other see you